Boys, what do we have here? Where, where have you been? <laughs> Dude, we're sandblasting it ready for paint. You guys are crazy. Oh. And you're right at this G63. I've never seen one this filthy. Where'd you go with this thing? Slightly off-road. There was a detour. It, it is a rental. We don't... Oh. We don't... <laughs> you're doing the ultimate American experience and trashing a rental car. <laughs> wow. Where we get a deposit back? What color is this thing? Uh, it's, it's black. Is it actually? Yeah. I it... thought it'd be gray. No, it's black. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize that bad the front. Dude, it is amazing. All right, guys. Follow us in this journey to Copart. We're in Vegas. It's SEMA. We some sights and sounds. Plug your seatbelt into your car if you're driving right now. We're driving to be watching this. Well, the interior is quite posh. Oh, <laughs> what's on the inside? <laughs> Dude, I'm wearing all black. Someone's can... left me a detailer's card on the window. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the windows down when you guys were doing something? No. no. So then the how the hell is it all in here? Um, we opened the door. We opened the door and it was windy and then uh... it all came in. Oh my god, I forgot how bad it was. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'll need a new jacket after this. By the way, this all drops Friday, November 10th, 6 a.m. Because race car, the varsity jacket, and other little surprises. My favorite drop to date. I'm gonna hook you guys up, don't you worry. You get a discount. Bro, 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 bro. Did you check first? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, absolute arse clench. <laughs> did you buy the extra insurance on this and everything? No. no you basic, didn't? No. Basic insurance. <laughs> it's basic. You're gonna learn how America works real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Litigation. <laughs> a brand new famous sphere. Sphere. The cost of build the sphere <laughs> was 2.2 billion doll hairs. Worth every penny. Well. We'll find out. I don't know how it cost $2.2 billion. I suspect there were some invoices for $90,000 hammers <laughs> yeah. to board members on the council that approved the building of it. That's Vegas, baby. Okay, guys, we have a short drive to Copart. Now, apparently, it's not gonna be that easy to get in. Matt's a big deal in the UK at Copart. Like, they know him by his middle name as well as his first name. <laughs> but allegedly, in America, it's a bit more of a process. So we're just gonna rock up there and be like, hey. I don't, yeah, they, they're already not enjoying the YouTube vibe. <laughs> Why not? No, they just, I think it's you. <laughs> Look, the camera <laughs> it is, it is. We, we're trying to make sense. We're breaking you guys into the Copart vibe, but I don't know whether they're buying it. We'll see. When, when we turn up with this, they might be more respectful. Oh, dude, this car is black. <laughs> oh god, look how like look how, look how it looks it. white right now. Look how dirty it is. <laughs> I'll show you guys outside the car in the daylight. That was in the parking garage when we opened the video up. But uh, we've never bought a car from Copart. We always take perfectly good cars and destroy them. I've been smart enough to buy a red car to do that with, which is what Matt does on his channel. So basically, this is a hostile takeover from the inside. I'm gonna steal all his content, his connections, his <laughs> house thumbnails, his dad's joining the channel, DDE. <laughs> hey, Matt, time for your first DDE experience. <laughs> go, 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 Matt! Do it, do it, yeah, Matt! <laughs> You're on the circuit DRS. for F1. <laughs> DRS in the DRS zone. Hit Matt, hit, hit. Well, they don't say that. What would they say? Box. Box, 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 box. I know better than that. I'm a big F1 guy. <laughs> Are you guys going to F1 in Vegas? I want to. We'll come. We're going to go. Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to go. So if you invite me, you I'm pay. Down. We'll go. We'll have fun. Fantastic. <laughs> Tickets are cheap. They're cheap. Look at this though. They had to close down basically the entire strip, build new roads, billions invested for F1, which is the first ever F1 in Las Vegas, and we are going. Thanks to Supercar Rooms, we're doing a rally, Miami, all the way to Vegas, driving the KB43 Huracan. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. All right. The best car dealership ever. So I've never been to a Copart, but they have so many cars. Like you can't just, I can't walk in and buy something. I have to bid online. Yes, bid online, yeah. And I'm uh, impulsive, that's a, that's a challenge. <laughs> we might be able to get a few deals whilst we're here though. Do so that. if something ends Copart. today. So we actually did Gumball with Jay, the CEO of Copart, and he was saying the volume of cars they move a day. Seven to 8,000 cars a day. That's a lot of crushed. Cars. I feel like they have a healthy profit margin. Oh yeah. I feel oh, like they yeah. could give us a car for free today. It wouldn't hurt anything. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's whether they let you in. Oh yeah, we might not get in here right now. <laughs> we could ruin the whole video. Let's get back on a flight, go back to LA and go to car dealerships. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. And like that, I have an official Copart vest. And we're here in the car graveyard, and right away we have an i8, the three-cylinder hybrid BMW behind that, that one. This thing's pretty mad. What is that? That is a uh, an American muscle car, known for hitting and destroying 720s. Right here, something interesting. I8. Oh yeah. What we got in the back? Yeah. Ooh. Ran out of talent at the back. 
But the crazy thing, how expensive this i8 is and the retail price of it, and that's what's wrote it off. Well, you can see the suspension obviously is tweaked. So who knows what's happened in here, Matt? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's You're going to learn a few things today with me, Matt. Always. I've not seen this edition before. But <laughs> 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 well, check it out. We have an Urus. Now what? we're talking, DD. That no actually would be a good project. Yes. Oh, perfect, dude. Yellow as well. Okay, 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 okay. Not okay, not okay. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh. God. That would have hurt. Oh. oh. <laughs> Engine very bad. Bro. That's gone west. So hold on. East. You can actually see the impact, which pushed the motor into the firewall. Oh dear. Okay, so and the oh. chassis leg is in a different postcode. That's gone completely that way, but fixable. Is it? Yeah, hundred percent. It is fixable. I don't know how much for your front end headlights, bonnet, bumper. That's going to be expensive, especially from Lamborghini. But this is an Audi engine, so any damage to that not going to be too bad. The chassis layer. Can you issue. buy this from Audi or Lamborghini? Yes. So from, that piece? from the bulkhead all the way forward, you can buy that, and uh, it could be all welded on. I, I assume. I think this is all going to be rivets, so it's all aluminium, so they don't even weld it. It's all bonded and welded and use these rivets to... And you can order an RSQ8 front because it'd be cheaper. Yeah, it could work. I mean, you could have an RSQ8 front end. <laughs> with a, with a, Dude, this could be a fun rivet. shop car. Maybe we make it to an ultimate off-road car. No one's really taking this car and lifted it up, put big tires on it. Do the off-road build. That'd be kind of fun. My guess is I feel like at the end of this video, you're gonna be even busier. <laughs> but other than that, just front end. Yeah. The back looks good. Factory 23 inch wheels. I have brand new tires in my shop for these wheels. Wheels are okay. Back's perfect. Yeah. Missing a piece here, which makes no sense. Someone probably stole that. That's a, that's a problem. Inlet manifold is broken. You wouldn't want that getting sucked yeah, into there. Yeah, that's a problem. AC's not working anymore. <laughs> is that AC compressor? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's broken. <laughs> this car will go for auction. Basically, it's just by bidder. So, yeah. depends on how much you want to pay for it. How much would you pay for this car right now? <laughs> um, <laughs> how much would you pay for this right now? Matt? Yeah, <laughs> because... Uh, we may have bidded on one back in oh. the UK, and it's similar, similar kind of damage. I would say, I don't know what they're worth here in the UK. It's going to go over $100,000. 130, 140,000. And this car, if it's not crashed, is like 230,000. Yeah, so I, I would say around. So that. just buy a clean one. It's no fun in that. Yeah, but for like, it doesn't cost you 100 grand to fix, is it not? No. If you know what you're doing, I'm going to say 50. Really? Yeah. Comment below, should we bid on the Urus? as a shop truck and do some sort of an off-road build on it. I want to get it for like a hundred grand. If you're into this for 150, oh, is the headlight good? That's good. Oh, that's good. That's yes. worth five or six thousand oh, dollars. Oh, it's one of them turning headlights. <laughs> that's a turn signal. <laughs> yeah, look, it's, <laughs> it's a hand signal. <laughs> that's not meant to be like that. We have a brand new drop very, very soon. Here's a sneak peek. Look at the hoodie. Beautiful, sexy. But here's a problem. If I sell 50,000 of these, how do I get those to you guys? Well, that's our sponsor, ShipStation. Did you know that ShipStation is an all roof for you? Get the same heavy discounts as those big Fortune 500 companies, up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. How do they do that? Well, they're the big boy. If you're a little boy like me, you get this big discount, which helps you a lot. If you want to scale a business, you need people to partner with that help you do that in a very easy way. We have so much going on here. I don't have time to fill it way bills, email customers, or any of that stuff. ShipStation effortlessly integrates with apps you're already using. eBay, Etsy, Shopify, to name a few. It's already integrated and it's seamless and there's a really easy to use dashboard so you can focus on things you like doing. Like making really good videos. My friend Damon Fryer is reading his own Instagram posts, <laughs> laughing hilariously. You wrote it, dude. It's not that funny. You wrote it yourself! <laughs> 30,000 companies have already switched to ShipStation and 98% of the companies, they use it for one year become customers for life with ShipStation. A lot of you guys always say, hey Dave, how do I build a business? You need the right tools. It needs to be easy. If it's hard for you or your customer, you're going to lose sales. That's why we personally here at DDE use ShipStation. Tim, how is TimForce.com doing? Sold out. Dave. Sold out. Tim is now the rich one thanks to ShipStation. I have some library gaming things I got to pay for for my car. Uh, can I borrow some money? I got you. How much money did you make? Oh, you know, that's for the IRS to find out. <laughs> ShipStation manages orders, prints labels, compares rates, optimizes every shipment, and automates delivery notifications. They even automate returns and offer customers smart recommendations for exchanges to keep customers happy, and your customer is your livelihood. ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improves profitability. ShipStation's robust automations and reporting make scaling easy. And as your business grows, you can save thousands of dollars on shipping costs. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com slash DDE today and sign up for a free 
free 60 day trial. That's shipstation.com slash DDE. All right guys, it's really that simple. Stop procrastinating, take action. There's a link in the description right now. If that's not enough, you're gonna get two months. That's 60 days absolutely free. Shipstation.com slash DDE. One more time for those that are listening. Shipstation.com slash DDE. Say it louder. Shipstation.com slash DDE. All of this. He's ripping. Copart flybys. So we're on the search. Um, it's not organized. You would think there'd be like a system like make model. No, nothing like that. It's just cars everywhere. But apparently, there's two Bentleys here. Yes. Not sure the year. So as I was mentioning, I need the newer one for my build. I did not bring any water. Yeah, <laughs> I've already realized that. I'm wearing this jacket because of marketing, but also because it's hot now. I don't want to wear it, but because of marketing, I'm wearing it. Oh, is that an MP412C or is that a Lotus? I got old man eyes now. Oh, it's a Lotus. What are you guys thinking at home? What are we looking at over here? We got a Porsche Cayenne Turbo. I, I feel like it is a Lotus. My eyes are burning from this. <laughs> we're going to get, we, maybe it's a Mirage because we're in the desert right now. Yeah. We're like so thirsty. This place must be. 20 acres? Are the ones in the Great UK the same size? Yeah, yeah, they're about the same. They're, and there's loads of them in the UK. There's loads. Oh, it this is a lotus. Is a tiny little thing. Oh, wow. A little death trap right there. Yeah, that's. Oh, Ooh. dear. Oh, dear. Someone kiss the curb. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's. Uh, oh, yeah, sad. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty bad damage. Yeah. I can see you in this, though, Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you wrecking. That's too this. much car for me, man. <laughs> that Camry V6 in the back. Look at all the room. To be fair, fun track car. They handle great. Yes. It's like a cool Miata. No, ignition comes on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does it suit me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. She dead? <sighs> the one that got away. <laughs> For some reason, it won't stop. <laughs> I don't know what the issue is. It's a little exotic. We have a Panamera here with a slight front end collision. But check it out in the background. That is. Sick. You need that back in the UK. If you don't have those in the UK, I guarantee no, you don't. No, we don't. We don't. I, for a very good reason. That is awful. You don't like it? Oh, dude, I'd roll with that. That's sick. <laughs> Watch out for those forks above your head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saved your life. Now it belongs to me. There's two Bentleys. Did you want rear end damage or front end damage? Maybe I need both of them to cut it in half, put it together. Are they bad? Don't show us the end of the car. No, I won't show you, no. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Okay. It's not It's not great, Dave. Yeah, that's better for the thumbnail. <laughs> Hopefully the car is red as well. We'll really get the action on this video. It's black. Okay, that's mm. not great. We'll have to we'll change that in post. Yeah, we can do that. Photoshop. Um, How the hell would you tell by looking? It's all dirt. I can. <laughs> oh, by the way, holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, it still stinks like burning rubber. A lot of Mustangs here. So yeah, there's a ton of options. The exotic stuff obviously is more rare. If you want a little project for your garage at home and you're watching this, I get it. I get the appeal because some of it isn't horrible. But when they rent off a car, they're looking at basically brand new parts. They're not looking at used parts and so forth. Lots of options. That's a pissed off girlfriend right there throwing a little in the car because fire all could originate from the engine. Obviously. Yeah, it came through. Maybe. That's weird. What the hell? Why is it cut open? Oh, why is it cut open? Oh, they didn't do a very good job of putting it out. Well, yeah, mostly out. Like they saved the headlights. Oh, wow. Matt used his resources, asked for help, which is a skill set I have to admire a little bit, to find the Bentley. So there's two here. We don't know what year they are. We don't know if they're coupes or convertibles. The website apparently hasn't been updated, so we're trying to just do some recon right now. But we've been to about an hour. We've probably walked a mile. There's just so much here. It's, it's insane how big this business is. What's even crazier is how many cars get damaged. That's why insurance is expensive. Like, look around. You see it, don't you? Oh, yeah. I saw some headlights. Well, I see one major problem right away. We'll talk about that in a second. It looks a little bit lower than what it should be. Hey, it looks good. Still looks good. Do you see the one major issue right away? What's that? I'm building the GT3 race car. What are race cars? Uh, the, not a soft top. Not a soft top. We have no. here a uh, Continental convertible. It is gorgeous. What year is this? This is the wrong year, though. Oh, it looks newer. The headlights look. Is this a 2010? No, it's newer than that. Is it? It must be. But you can usually tell by the interior. Yeah, that's the old one. Oh, no. Oh, it's really nice in it, though. It is nice. But just to have for a cool car driver in California. So damage wise, it's not bad, Matt. It's just a rear quarter. Just yeah. up, up in there. So you need a trunk lid, a deck, a tail light. What's under this? Small dent. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, that's for that's quite bad. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't really want to start touching this. It's not great. 
what you would have is a good motor. So really, I could make an offer on this car today and get it for parts because if I want to actually make the, the build a faster version, I could take that motor and build it. What if I made the world's first like 1200 real horsepower Continental GT? That would be sick. Straight pop, bevel tune. Looks good. That's yeah, a four liter V8. Looks great. That's dry. Oh, look, we found another Audi badge. No. Oh, oh yeah, not... Audi badge. Audi just owns everything. Well, it's Volkswagen, actually. Yeah, Volkswagen Audi, owns everything. Audi is everywhere, even on Bentley. But... This car wouldn't cost much, though, because this car clean isn't worth that much money. No, no, this is going to go for cheap. This will be really like cheap. 10 grand? Maybe, yeah, maybe even cheaper than that, depending on the category of it as well. Then we could sell headlights, the soft tops worth yeah. money, interior bits and you know, mirrors. This yeah. is the same engine as my RS6. 100% it is. It's the same one. Oh, we got a little bidding war, do we? More Audi badges. Everyone loves an Audi badge. We have Audi everywhere. But, but, now it's a Bentley. Now it's a Bentley. What do you guys think? Should I get this car, take the motor, send it out, because it's going to take a while anyways before we get the car, and build it to be the fastest? Originally, I wasn't going to do that. Originally, I thought, oh, I'll just make it like a street car, a race car off the streets. But now I'm thinking, well, why don't we go farther and make it fast as f and actually do like a race series. Take on Damon 720 with this thing and destroy him and embarrass him. So we only found the one Bentley. It's the wrong year. Yeah. It's the wrong roof. So that didn't work out. I told you you can't be picky at Copart. I know. You get what you give them. LA Copart is going to be more our vibe. I think we need to take a trip there. Do you want to go right now? Um, if you're happy with a five hour drive, is that how long it is? I've seen your views on YouTube. You're getting us a private jet. <laughs> yeah, a salvage jet. <laughs> I fixed it myself! <laughs> Driver this vehicle, there's no one driving that car right now. No That's insane. Way. Hold on. Oh, there's someone in there! Oh, you liar! They clickbaited us! You son of a No! Take him off the road. No Nobody way. lies to my friend, Matt Armstrong, no. from the great UK. I can't believe they clickbaited us so Wait, 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 wait. Liar! Wait! Liar! Phony! Okay, we're off to Royalty Exotics now. We're hoping that Houston might have, in his network, a crashed Bentley. Oh, back at Royalty Exotic Cars. Yeah. Oh, we need. Yeah. 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 That is a bit of you. If that I'm is a bit of me. Oh my me. God. Houston, you son of a <laughs> You know what I like? Do a build on that thing. You guys wanna watch it. If you guys would watch a build on a, a, or a Rolls Royce like that, turn into a race car, how stupid would that be? <laughs> those bad ideas and those really dumb ideas, and I don't know where that one lies. Okay, let's see if Houston can save the day. Oh, the Phantom is such a statement. It's so big. First time at Royalty Exotics here in Vegas. I'm excited. Come experience the life of luxury. Yeah? Okay, cool. I'll cut you off. Oh, that's cool. There he is right there. There he is right oh, there. Man, not today. Yes, today it's is the Sima. day. Dave, please, not today. I don't feel good. What's with your voice? Uh, I drove my BAC mono through a valley of fire and all the fire went in my throat and it ruined it because I didn't want to wear a helmet. We'll do a quick fact check, is that true? It's 100% true. <laughs> okay, thank you. We first came here January 2018. Correct. And we're coming up on How many subscribers years. did you have when you came here? Uh, 3.9 million, we're down to 3.85 now because... <laughs> How many subscribers did you have in January 2018 when I met you? Oh, man. I know. My mom, my dad was on there, yeah. my cousin. Yeah. And about 77,000 other people. Yeah, we had small. less than 100,000 subscribers when you guys came in here. Oh yeah, dude, it was, it was embryonic. And Damon had one asking, car. I need everything for free. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't changed. Green Aventador was the first car The Green Aventador 650S Spider I drove. And that was my first time ever driving an exotic car with a 650S. Ever, ever. I was crazy. terrified. And <laughs> button's dead. <laughs> Me neither. I don't think anybody still does, dude. And that Those car Brits. burnt down. That car burnt down. It did. About, what, three or four months later. I had three 650Ss. All three of them burnt down at 30,000 miles. All three. But I had an orange one burn up at a gas pump. Let's hold oh, I saw fire. that. That that supercar fails one. That's been, that was my car. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that one. Why didn't you buy it? <laughs> there wasn't anything left there of it. Was nothing left there was nothing left. Mindset, dude. It was like a headlight. We're going to rebuild that fridge next, too. <laughs> yeah, right there. We need a new piece of glass. All right, so what's going on with this thing? Holy. Oh, my God. Color match stitching with the, uh, with the paint. Dude. Wild, right? I love it. You're you're on the interior game. I like that. I just want to be special, dude. I can't afford any of these new hyper cars, so I just got to do it with all these crazy cheap cars. It was no other damage besides the the front end, so I just bought a new Kofongo. I How much was the Kofongo? Forty thousand. No. So at the time, I bought this car, has a four thirty window sticker. I paid a hundred back a sticker. I replaced the splitter, this piece, this piece, and this piece for about sixty thousand. So I was like, in my mind, I was like, I got a really cool color. It's a really nice car. I felt pretty good about it. Now the market's kind of gone down a little bit. For now. So maybe this is a sticker car. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like super good into it. But at the time I got a great deal. So I thought, 
I'd make it special to the interior. And then I've got my billet motor. You probably see some billet mo motor. Holy oh, yeah, that's sick. crap. That's a full billet block. I mean, this is what a half a million dollar engine looks like. That's half um, a million dollars right there. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So, the gearbox. So all flex. I mean, it's not supposed to be a flex. It's just, <laughs> you know, like look, those UGR guys. I mean, yeah. you wanna you wanna go 250 miles an hour in the half mile? It's a it's a million bucks. This oh yeah, it, it costs a million bucks. You know, this is gold. That's how it comes to the factory. Oh, is it? It comes paint job. No way. Yeah. So that's nuts. The gearbox to go that fast. I mean, this is a DCT car. So I have a gearbox for this car that's for pneumatic shifting, mm -hmm. if you really want to go super fast. Mm -hmm. But these DCTs fully built are 150,000. Yeah. I mean, everything's so expensive. So but, what's your what's your plan for this car? Why are you putting as much money into it? Well, do you remember the hypercar I was building? Yep, I remember that. This is the power plant for it. Ah. So I was like, you know, I don't want to waste it. And I really don't want to spend another million dollars finishing that special car because it's a lot of money. So I was like, I'll take the power plant that I already paid for and I'll just pop it into the STO and I'll make my one-off car. Dude, it's, it's crazy. And how much power will this car make when it's done? So I've already dynoed this car. This engine was on an engine dyno. They just put the engine in about two days ago. So on the engine dyno, it made 2,800. 2,800? Yeah, but it, it, it could make more. It could go like 35 with the right boost, but I don't want to want to break everything, right? <laughs> so 2800 on kill and then like 1950 on your like basic tune. All wheel drive. This car, if I had it on like legit mode, should run in the high 240s. I don't think I could break 250 because they they're doing 250 Jeez. with like it's a different gearbox setup. That's crazy. Yeah. 240 in a Huracan is next level. That's pretty fast. That's next level. It's a long yeah. yeah. car, so, isn't it? Yeah, I took the wing off. Yeah. I don't know, I don't like the Huracan's of wings. I like it like this. So nervous to see what's under the hood of this thing right now. Oh, oh, that's not bad, okay. That's not bad. Okay. Bad. It's <laughs> everywhere. It's crash. Oh my God. It is black and mini. Oh my, is this your daily? What year is it? How old? It's really old. Like 19? It's like a classic car at this point. <laughs> I love he has his daughter's car seat <laughs> and the Hermes bag. And he's trying to close the door on me right now. Yeah, Whoa. Dude, this is the life. Look That's what I keep that. on telling you. That's what I tell you guys. This is the life, man. This right here. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh my God. That's sick. That is amazing. That's how you do Vegas right here. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh That's yeah, how you do that and the roof. We're flexing. We're flexing on the haters right now. What are these? When you're on an airplane and you're in a regular seat and you get upgraded, you're immediately a different person. <laughs> you're lucky you're even in this car right now, Dave. Really? Yeah, I, I'm like really picky with my stuff. My kids have to take their shoes off to get in here. <laughs> Actually, it's legit. I don't like them touching my stuff. You know? We've just been walking around Copart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a reason why we're in the Phantom and we just went for a 20 minute car ride. There's a special car Houston bought that is almost done. Apparently it's being painted today. It's a car that's very near and dear to Damon's heart. You probably imagine what it is. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. It is one of my favorites. And uh, I remember when we first got this car five years ago, the excitement it brought Damon. And then unfortunately it was in an accident and sold. We all move on. Damon probably not, but I moved on. I'm fine. <laughs> I've gotten through it somehow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I drove first. <laughs> so we have a special car here right now. Right? Oh you my God. Go? I'm exhausted today. I've had a long day. All right, it, man. Especially when you come in town, it's always so much energy, and I'm trying to match it. You know, <laughs> trying, to be a, <laughs> trying to be a real YouTuber. That's the problem. Put your head in the game. I've man. never been a real YouTuber. I got to get my shit together. All right, trying to rebuild cars like this guy. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody to rebuild Mercy's all over the planet. That's it. You I'm know? waiting for this one. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> so unlike uh, most rebuilds, I kind of go like the super fancy stock route. So what you're about to see is like a cream puff. It's a cream not pie, a cream pie. My bad. Cream I don't pie. Really like cream, cream pies. Pie. <laughs> <laughs> we have the wrong channel. This yeah. is the wrong channel. Yeah. In Vegas, man, sex sells. <laughs> so Dave is here uh, on behalf of Damon because Damon couldn't be here today because he probably would have cried if he would have seen this car. He would have cried. And uh, well, I figured it was just a good thing to show him. So we're going to go in. Music has been painting the car all weekend. Hey, guys. Hey, Hi, how are you? Yeah. Good. Nice to meet you. So, Muzika. You're going to show us the stuff? Muzika. We got Feel some free. updates. All right, let's go. <laughs> You paint furniture. 
of small children. Monkeys. Monkeys. This is my word. Holy oh. moly. Dude, that's sick. Some strange jobs, but... It's, <laughs> you know, it's the quality we're looking at, yeah. not the context, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Music actually uh, also rode his motorcycle, his little Honda, from the tip of Brazil to Alaska. What? what? Look at this. Look at this. I, I, had, I couldn't believe it when he showed me. He rode this motorcycle from the bottom of South America to the top of Alaska. Oh my yes. How long did that take? Three years. Isn't that crazy? Dude. On this little bike. Yeah, this is my very, very first motorcycle. And then he painted the trip on it. Yeah. That so had dude, all those things. Crazy. Yeah, pretty that's wild, story, right? All the stamps that I have on my passport, they put on the motorcycle. Yeah, I can see the car. Yeah, you can see the car. Oh, oh the you car. dirty oh. dog. You. I'm actually glad Damon's not here, because, yeah. Oh, uh, you tried to buy it. Yes, seriously, yes. I do remember. And I probably at this point could have told you. <laughs> uh, has, has it been profitable for you so far? No. Really? What are you talking about? You gave me this thing. Dude, you gave it to me for four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's commerce, baby. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I got the Jesus cameras. Wow. Yeah, yeah man. we're all just talking to each other. So I decided to go back to full hundred percent OEM everything. Every single inch of this car. It has brand new carbon. All the damage pieces was all brand new carbon. So everything that I did, it, I had a guy that works on NASA up in it, his company called Project Black, right? So he took the car to Sacramento. He does like crazy like NASA spaceship carbon, Bro. and he fixed this car to the perfect. I mean, you know how hard it is. Can to I go fix look car. at it? I won't touch anything. Right? Wow. So as you guys know, that was cracked. So this is not fiberglass. Nothing. This is a literal factory fender with new carbon weaved in. It's a three coat paint. And I saw a little dot right here. Then I start, well, let me blend a little bit. Then I find another one on the dark side. You know what? Let me paint the whole door before I put it clear. So there's no clear. This is the first coat. Yeah, I, I like it. It's dull right now. Yeah, yeah and you can see there's a first stage of pearl. Bro, holy. Yeah. Look at that. What? So this fender was almost completely shot. I mean, it was like this whole area was destroyed. And you, I mean, when you're in this, level of car. I hope this car is worth close to a million dollars in the next year or so, right? That's the goal. You know, I poured over a couple hundred thousand dollars into this car. On top of what you bought it off of. Yeah, so basically I needed, I needed a new front frame. That thing was junk. Really? So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was okay. I bought it off but, eBay. Yeah, it was good. eBay, shout out. I mean, that's not your fault, right? It was a bit rusty when I got it. So, so it was 10 grand, that thing. I know, dude, and it wasn't even worth three, but. I got it covered. My bad. And my guys up in Sacramento, he fixed it for me. So Kings did a good job of aligning it, but it just wasn't perfect because he didn't have the fenders and the hood hinges. Did you buy a new stuff. factory front frame then from Lamborghini? Yeah. Oh, brand new one, yeah, yeah. You had to. Right? Well, you can get them. So, for the mess. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, if you know somebody. I seem to source a lot of good parts, right? I mean, you saw the Veyron. It's hard to buy Veyron parts. Here, everything is 100% dialed in. They recarboned the fender, something else in the front suspension that you didn't replace. Uh, I I did. Hit. No, yeah, this part right here. Oh, was a little bit there, a yeah. little bit in the side, but not the suspension. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was all tweaked. My bad. Yeah, come on, dude. By everywhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> so the only thing that is left unrepaired is you gave me that brand new three thousand dollar oil cooler. Yes. But there was no bracket with it. And I've had a really you hard sky. Yeah. 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 The Super bracket's sand. in my trunk. That's <laughs> the upsell. That that's that bracket is really hard to it's forty three dollars from Lamborghini. But you can't find it. But you can't find you can it. Make one. Oh I could, but I want it to be factory. Oh right. Yeah. I took out the windshield, so we're getting a brand new windscreen. And I oh, think the windscreen. 14. Oh, yeah. Well, did you get a headlight? So careful with all. Uh, I actually had two headlights. They're big bucks now, too. 10,000 a pop. Yeah. 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 Dude, I, yeah. We learned about the headlights. We smashed some of them. Yeah, they're glass. Big. Glass. Yeah, they're glass. glass. They're real glass. Yeah. Real I, glass. I smashed mine and had to replace them with plastic lenses. Not as good. Yeah. yeah. Not factory. It's crazy seeing this car after such a journey. All right, guys. I have a funny feeling that Damon's going to really want this car back. Houston's mentioning he'll sell it. So I sent them in some photos and thinking like, would you want to buy it back? We sold it for 400, we put a few hundred thousand into it. To get to this level, we would have done the same thing. It's actually not a bad financial choice. And I do believe this car has a trajectory to really grow in value. Now remember, this car wasn't written off. It technically has a clean title. Would you sell yeah. this car back to us? Yeah. How much would you sell it to us for? 800. Yeah. Canadian. Pounds. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey Siri, Siri. What is going on over here? Oh my God. Yeah, so Musica makes all this stuff. 
the Back to the Future. He's got a little six cylinder. Where'd you find this guy? Literally, I got a whole team of these guys now. They're amazing. Oh my God, they're my guys now. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. That's my favorite. The Back to the Future. Back to the Future. One. This is all it's just art pieces with the actual you know factory logo. Ones? This is an old school Diablo color. I forgot what it's named. It's a Countach color. It's a Countach emblem. Diablo emblem. Look at that one. Those are old as no, original Gaussian. That's so cool. This art for the this, HQ? Uh, this is like for just, yeah, like art for like bro men. Yeah, for our shop at, at, at the HQ. Yeah. Whoa, the fuck's the path there? Hmm. Look at this. Oh my oh, god! Oh, I wasn't ready for that, <laughs> man. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Don't answer, it's not real. Yeah. No. That's really cool. I love this. Yeah. The problem is you young guys watching don't even know what this movie is. So take a minute right now, go watch Back to the Future. All of them. It's an amazing them. movie. All of them. It's Michael J. Fox, from. Canadian, by the way. I will talk to Dan about the Mercia logo. He just bought the Senna, F40, so I think. F50. Another 800. Might be able to trade. Yeah. 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 Thank you again for all the hospitality. Always. You're an amazing man. We didn't find a Bentley today. I need a Bentley Continental 2020 in New York. Well, no one has that car, Dave. No one wants to sell those cars, they're so good. They're so nice. They're beautiful. I know. I've always um, wanted one myself. I never was able to get one. I literally could never get one. What? I swear to you, I had to get a Phantom. Second choice. Gentlemen, thank you for a great day. This is a weird handshake. What a day. This is a weird handshake. What you guys are amazing. Know.